In our last video, we have seen that the direction angles of a vector passing through the origin are the angles that it makes with the positive x, y and z axis. Now, what about a vector which does not pass through the origin? What will be its direction angles? Let's call this vector vector b. For this vector, you can imagine three lines parallel to three coordinate axes intersecting at the initial point of the vector. The angles that the vector makes with them will be its direction angles. Moreover, if we draw a vector parallel to the vector b passing through the origin and in the same direction, then the set of direction angles of this vector will be the same as vector b because they both are pointing in the same direction. In fact, all of the vectors parallel to vector b and in the same direction will have the same direction angles. Now, let's go back to the earlier example of the vector passing through the origin. It has the following direction angles. Now, consider a line in three dimensions coinciding with this vector. Now, obviously, a line and a vector are two different things. A line extends infinitely on both sides and has no unique direction, whereas a vector is an arrow of finite length pointing in a specific direction. What will be the direction angles of this line? A line extends in two opposite directions, so it will have two sets of direction angles. One set will be the same as this vector along the line pointing that way, and the other set will be the direction angles of any other vector pointing in the opposite direction. But what is this other set of direction angles? Both sets of direction angles are related. Observe that if this angle is 60 degrees, then this angle made by the line in the opposite direction with the positive x-axis is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. Similarly, these two angles are 180 degrees minus 120 degrees and 180 degrees minus 45 degrees. So this is the second set of direction angles of this line. We can denote them by alpha dash, beta dash and gamma dash. We will also want them to be in the range between 0 and pi, including 0 and pi. And again, the other lines in this 3D space parallel to this line will have the same two sets of direction angles. Normally, when we talk about direction angles of a line, we want to work with any one of the two sets. So it's important that when we are provided with a set of direction angles for a line, we know that they are for which direction of the line. And with this, we end our video. Next, we'll be talking about the direction cosines and see how to calculate direction cosines of a given vector. So, see you in the next video.